Hi guys, welcome back to a little bit of everything with Rita. It's your girl Rita back with another video. And um today guys we are going to be filming another episode of Rate My Plate. This is episode two. Um I am actually gonna do this one like a little bit different to the one that I did before. Um the one that I did before, well, first of all, it's going to be different in the sense that I have a different guest today. Um, my friend Osa is going to be joining me. That's the first thing. And secondly, um, just the way in terms of how I film it, I'm rather just going to film everything and then give a detailed review at the end. So, like, everything else in between, well, everything else before my detailed review will just be like a montage of the food, the drinks, um, just how the place looks, the ambiance, everything like that. Um, maybe I'll talk here and there, but I highly doubt because the sound wasn't so great in my first video. So, I kind of want to work around that because I will be in a, I will be outdoors and in front of Pam Gwabantu. So, like, you know, it, the, the probability of my sound being not so great or not so clean and crisp and, you know, just how I'd like it to be and how I'm sure you guys would like it to be would be lower if I do, like, speak in between. So today, guys, we'll be going to Apogee Boutique Hotel. It's, on rest it's a restaurant in a hotel in Watercliffe. So, yeah, I'll leave every, all the details about the place in the description box. I will also leave the menu, a link to the menus, if I can. If I can do that, I will leave the menus in the description box just so that you guys can also see like what they offer before you guys go there. Otherwise, apart from that, um, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are a returning subscriber, love you loads, lots of love. I hope you did enjoy the first one and that you'll enjoy this one even more. And if you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe so that you can be a part of the kiddies, okay? Hey. So, yeah, guys, I must say, I'm really, really loving this Fenty Beauty foundation on me, like, Sana, yeah, yeah, Maker, hey, she's, she's doing a lot, I, I love her, I love her so much, but yeah, guys, and also, do not forget to follow me on my social media, at Ritabile Sibadi on all my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm only active on those three platforms. So if there's anyone else that's claiming to be me on like your Facebook or your Angazwat, LinkedIn, okay, no man. <laughs> no, it's not me, guys, it's not me. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video and stay tuned. So I'll see you guys later when we are at the hotel. have so much alostra we just arrived at the place and um really nice interest in all of that he told us that i can't film because no professional cameras are allowed get that but like i'm annoyed because the whole point of me coming here was to vlog so some guy did say that he's gonna try and see if there's anything that they can do to like allow us to film because i told him that like dude we just want to film us eating and like look parts of the place and whatnot 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 we're not really gonna film people and he's like, okay, he'll try and talk to him and see what he can do. So guys, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, they're able to allow me to vlog. Because like, guys, I really, it's, if I vlog on my phone, it's not, it's not going to give, you know, it's just not going to give. So, yeah. Happy Spring Day, by the way, guys. First of September. Happy Spring Day. <laughs> okay, update, update, update. 
So the guy called them inside and spoke to them and told them like would see Ukela's having a bit of a predicament because she came here so that she could film for her kitties and she needs to give her kitties content, you know. So um the people were like, Okay, they're gonna see if they can't make a special arrangement and see what they can do. They will allow me to like um vlog certain parts of the restaurant or the hotel or whatever but other parts not mainly because um ministers come and like eat here or do whatever here and you know they can't be caught in 4k on my channel <laughs> doing whatever they're doing so yeah that's why like professional cameras it's a problem but we did explain that we're only trying to vlog me eating or us eating and you know vlog the entire experience here so i guess that's why they were like nah it's calm she can she can do her thing just within certain restrictions so yeah kitties i'll see you guys inside i'm gonna give you guys content please bear with me guys i'm gonna do the best I, that i can with what they're allowing me to do and what they're allowing me to give you guys so yeah love you guys see you later awesome. Okay, guys like i literally cannot like cannot um vlog anything with my camera besides myself eating besides the food um anything else i'm going to have to vlog with my phone unfortunately <laughs> so if the quality does go down guys then you know what's up i i genuinely we didn't genuinely did try but like you know rules are rules like and i'm doing no footage in using though because i'm just like i don't know if i'll get in trouble for like vlogging this or not you know so yeah but otherwise the place is really really pretty i'll show you guys now i'll take videos on my phone and then add it to the clip i'll show you guys it looks really really pretty so um we just got the menu had a look at it um it's cute definitely i would say that hmm, i think they've got really nice options on their menu I want to say it's not student friendly but the thing is also like students budgets like are relatively like certain things are relatively expensive like for stu for some students this could this is doable for others it's not um but yeah otherwise i mean like if you want to go 
guys you know why i'm chopping so much because i'm nervous like after what <laughs> just happened like because i'm so scared to like overstep my boundaries like with regards to filming i'm not sure what i can and can't film you know so like and nerves get guys like i'm genuinely so nervous i don't know about the teen um but yeah you know what guys i think once i get my drink i'll like calm down and i'll be grand but <laughs> for now i'm genuinely very very nervous um otherwise guys the place is really really pretty um i ordered a burger which i don't normally order but i ordered it because it's I ordered it because it's a it's a, the, the 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 meat is um wagyu so I genuinely really really want to try that and I'm interested in trying that so we'll see how that goes I'll let you guys know how that goes otherwise yeah I really like this place so far but if there are any other YouTubers I want to come here just know that you cannot film with your camera you are going to have to take your phone and <laughs> if you want to film for five hours <laughs> it's ten k that's how they charge so yeah just a heads up um yeah. Yeah, so I ordered a mocktail. What mocktail did I order? This is the mocktail menu. I ordered a Apogee non-alcoholic mocktail. Um, guys, one thing about me, when I get to a restaurant, I will ask, what is the prettiest and nicest cocktail you have? And it's up to the waiter to like help me like choose something that is very, very pretty and very, very cute because a cocktail has to be pretty, Sana. And then something that's also very nice because I like a sweet drink. I love me a sweet drink. Um, so yeah, my friend ordered. What did you order? The also, guys, I lied. I know I said it's gonna be a montage. It's not gonna be a montage mainly because I can't film like with my camera. So I'm gonna be chopping a lot to you guys, like more in depth probably um, than the last one. But yeah, definitely okay. gonna be chopping a lot. Oh, he ordered a Caprina cocktail. I hope mine's prettier than his. Anyway, so yeah, guys, um, that's it from me. okay guys so we got our food i like i said i ordered oh no i didn't tell you guys what i ordered so i ordered a wagyu burger because i like okay i think you did one thing about me kiddies i don't believe in ordering a burger when you go out to eat because you can actually get a burger anyway and eat burgers you're fine i mean nobody eat burger you make okay i'm lying <laughs> i'm lying i'm capping i'm yo but anyway because i still feel like i just want to order a burger like i want to order something that i can't easily make at home so but this time i did order a burger why because i wanted to taste wagyu beef and so it's a wagyu burger with fries hand cut fries and um onion rings and then he ordered lamb lion and prawns what I don't know. it's like a prawn and what is this is it salmon lime lion or prawn what is that what you said mm. something like that guys i'll write it down for us um for you guys and then i have my cocktail i tasted it it's really really sweet so if you're not someone that wants to have alcohol in your drink um and wants something that's sweet and cute she's your girl he hasn't had his cocktail yet so can't really tell you but 
yeah guys i'm a bit bored by my burger just because it's a burger but otherwise i'm excited to taste it because yeah guys otherwise it's a really really nice place it's very we came on a very quiet day which i like i don't like coming to a restaurant organized pt pt because one it makes it hard to film two it makes it hard to take content three goodness pt pt hey and yeah so yeah so we are done now that was like a really really cute guy i love this place i think if i want to get away from people and just have a nice meal with really pretty scenery like calm vibes i'm definitely coming here like it's really really nice and guys i will repeat i call pity pity up and i don't like in the in pity pity like no especially when i'm trying to eat let me rather say that when i'm trying to eat i'm trying to have like peace and quiet actually hear the person that i'm speaking to and like guys it doesn't feel like a group spot because you know a lot of restaurants these days have turned into like semi group spots and mm -mm. so yeah um this is the place he, to bring your jeans uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> anyway guys as you saw um dessert was ordered i didn't speak to you guys about that that was a creme brulee oh <gasps> it's so good it is so 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 good like oh it's amazing i would 10 out of 10 recommend and the cocktail that i had the um, i forgot what it's called but i'll i'll try to remember it it's uh i'll like write it down here but i forgot yeah top two or not two guys for all the people that love mocktails it's really nice and sweet like imandi guys imandi man imandi um what else is there to tell you guys yeah guys um the service was good guys if you come here ask for a lady called rumbi um she serves this area that we're sitting in um she's so sweet really really nice good service she's the one that recommended the cocktail that i ordered and i trust her recommendations just because of that so yeah guys i really enjoyed my time here i will give a detailed review when we when i get into the car because at least there like there's no wind and the sound will be grand so yeah um make sure you have money guys oh yeah okay yeah <laughs> i know i said that it, it's like student budgets and stuff is relative and whatnot yeah guys it's not really student friendly because <laughs> i think as a student when you go out you probably want to spend like 300 to 400 um our bill was a thousand rand <laughs> two people but that happens that's that's a thing like Hey, dog. Go to Tasha's. Go so, to Tasha's, guys. Five hundred for two people. God, Sana. <laughs> don't take. Don't. If you're going on a date, don't. No. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, it's not student friendly because our build did touch one k, and gratuity is automatically included. So for all of you stingy people that like to give waiters twenty rand and ten rands as a tip, yeah, no, that's not gonna fly over here. 
what else yeah sana love this place guys love it so much um i would yeah in terms of like bookings i would genuinely recommend that you make a reservation because at the gate they do ask you if you made a reservation which we did luckily um but apart from that i'm not sure how strict they are with walk-ins but i would say i would recommend you guys making a reservation in fact in general when you go to a restaurant guys excuse me make a reservation here just to avoid problems and avoid like having to wait and just all sorts of things just make a reservation and yeah we to guys so yeah um also i didn't introduce you come i'm so sorry guys i'm i have bad manners i didn't introduce Osa. this is Osa. he is my friend from like all the way back to like school days like high school vibes um i'll put his instagram below for anyone who wants to check him out on social media Ladies, do you follow I'm him single, oh I'm single. 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 Yo. Just, just to put it out there all uh, right no. <laughs> <laughs> um and then yeah guys please i hope you guys no i'm still gonna give you a detailed review but like yeah guys in the meantime please do follow me on social media at retabile sabati on all my social media platforms instagram twitter and not snapchat um tiktok so yeah guys um my review will come in a few now we are leaving so bye and we out with the bang we out and we out with the bang Hey guys, so this marks the end of our day at LGBT Kota and Spa. Um, yeah, guys, I definitely enjoyed myself. So I'll give my rating, and he will give his rating, and then for we will do um, customer service, food presentation, the taste of food, um, drinks presentation, um, how the drinks yeah, it was taste. A nice <laughs> You're so ill-mannered. You're um, and then the ambiance and the atmosphere as well as, um, like just how the place is decorated. No, but it was nice. You just say it was nice. You're no, talking... I have to give a detailed review. What's the point of saying it's nice? Everything no. is nice. There is no how I feel about specifics. Yeah, but now... Also, this is how we do it on my channel, please. <laughs> oh, okay. So guys, in terms of customer service, like I said, I really, really loved Urumbi, who was our waitress. She's so nice. Um, Quality. Literally, like she's just such a nice person to um, to be served by. So out of 10 customer service, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Okay guys, it was a customer service perfect. Perfect. Especially from our waiter. Waitress. Waitress. Yeah, this camera's so heavy. Sorry guys. And then, um, drinks presentation. I'm gonna give guys, and personally, nothing can ever be a 10 out of 10, like, nothing is ever perfect in life, okay? But that drink, um, so I'm not gonna, I don't think you'll ever get something as a 10 out of 10 on my channel, but I'll give you a 9 out of 10 because it's like you're close to perfection. So, the presentation and the taste of my mocktail, which was a oh, I, sorry, guys, just give me a moment. I'll give my Caprina uh, 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10. It was like in a glass. I mean, you'll see it. It was, it was basic and it didn't taste that. Let's give it a oh, seven. Guys, I, a seven. you're giving yours a seven. Yeah, presentation? Seven. seven. So he gives his Caprina a seven out of ten for presentation and a seven out of ten for taste. I give, I genuinely forgot mine's, um, the name of mine. I give um, my cocktail um, an eight out of ten for presentation and a nine out of, and an eight out of ten for taste. It is very sweet. Like in the beginning, the sweetness is like, whoa. But then, like, as you, like, continue to drink it, you get used to it, and then you really, really begin to enjoy it. Food presentation. I mean, guys, I mean, a burger's a burger. Fries are fries. Onion rings are onion rings. Like, I don't think there's much that someone can do with that. So, I'll just give it, like, a... But the mushroom sauce, though. That oh, and there was mushroom sauce on the side. We're talking about presentation, though. Oh, okay. I'm going to need you to allow me to take the lead so that you can... Yeah, but sometimes, like, you're talking, like... Exactly. This is a review. You're supposed to talk. But, like, for long... No, because it's a review. You must explain. Okay, 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 okay. Guys, he's actually the most problematic person I've had on my channel. Um. Ah. <laughs> anyway. Did you have um? Ah, um when I didn't you have Mitle on your channel? No, she hasn't featured yet. What about what's her name? Masana, <laughs> Masana, 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 Masana. But she's not problematic. So I am. Listen to you just jumping on everything that I say. I'll keep quiet. No, <laughs> talk for when like when it's time to talk. Okay. And allow me to speak. Speak, dog. Um, yeah, I'll give like a presentation for my food a seven out of ten. Um, just because like a burger's a burger, fries are fries, and onions are onions, guys. There's not much that you can do with that. Like, you just 
put it on the plate and it is what it is until someone finds out some really really cool way to present food like a burger on a plate then my rating will go higher but otherwise it's a 7 out of 10 because it's just neatly plated um and then for taste guys okay the wagyu burger was really really good i'll give that an 8 out of 10 the onion rings guys <gasps> I have guys I don't enjoy onion rings like I normally don't eat them but these onion rings no with the mushroom sauce that they gave me on the side <gasps> to die for literally guys nine and nine and a half out of ten for taste like 10 out of ten she's lying though it was just it will change your life yo it's so good and then your line fish and prawn bruh like, presentation presentation okay presentation I'll give it an eight no? yeah the presentation was it, really was, it, it was nice it was nice but as for taste for that price, nah, I'll give it like a 6 out of 10. Okay. I'll give it a... Like, guys, if you're going to cost... If a food is going to cost that that much, it must change my life. I'm dead. It but must true, change, I get that. It must change my life. But then, ah, it was disappointing for for that kind of price, you know, 6 out of 10. I mean, it was a giant, one giant prawn. And I, expect, I expected like many other he prawns. Pr he expected like an array of prawns that just lined up on his yeah, plate. It, it, yeah, like, like even the taste. It didn't taste as good as that mushroom sauce that um you mixed with the, onion, with the yeah with the onion with the rings. Onion rings. Okay. It was just it was just food, bro. I could have went to Roman's Pizza like and got a pizza pie. That thing slaps. Hey. Eh? Let me make sure it's recording. Okay, and then for the dessert, we um we had a berry and coconut vanilla tart. Oh, eight out of ten. Muy caliente, chef's kiss. Listen, it was good. It was really really good. Um, presentation. It was cute. It was just it was just like literally that tart on a plate. So like I also just give that a seven out of ten because like no, but then the tart itself looked pretty. I'll give it an eight out of ten for presentation, for presentation and for taste. I'll give it an eight out of ten as well. It was really, really, really good. And you would say presentation eight out of ten, ah, taste ten out of ten. It was, was really really good. You know when you get dessert, some desserts is just like ice cream and custard or jelly and custard ice cream and custard but that one was was the that one was that was too was good there. it was too good and it was the price wasn't bad for that one yeah because you see now now this is what i'm talking about when you talk about price and food quality and the 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 monetary value of that food you know what i'm saying okay and then the ambiance the vibe and everything i would give that really like a nine out of ten guys it's really relaxed i say once again of course ptp like it's just really really nice like and quiet like you could kind of you genuinely won't feel that you're in pretoria you really won't um i i love it you listen oaks if there's a place where you want to take your your lady or your if you just want to be by yourself oaks just go to that place it's a 10 out of 10 place for me eh? the, deco as well like everything eh? you're Aesthetics. not you're actually not in pretoria you just like the, you're not like you're in a different place it's a different vibe even the the view the view there oaks, really nice oaks, if you take your your, your special someone there you, you you have her you just know you have her just so yeah guys overall we genuinely genuinely enjoyed our experience there i'm definitely gonna go back guys that's gonna i feel like it's gonna be my new home away from home unless i find another place that is like better than that but so far like i loved every moment of my time there food was great drinks were great service was great ambiance aesthetics everything was just chef's kiss so yeah um that, will, that is the end of um, Rate My Plate episode 2. Guys, thank you so much for watching. All my returning subscribers and all my new people on the block. Do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Follow Osa on social media. Ladies. Ladies. Dude, okay. <laughs> aye, aye. Every day. Actually, like, ignore him. Um, and follow Joe. me on... So aye! Your time is up. It's I'll put the your future. handle there. No. <laughs> Your my handle is at Ritabile Sebadi on all social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Until then I will see you on my next video next week Wednesday. Same time, same place. You know, a new upload every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Love you loads, good guys. Bye.